Hey guys, welcome back to the Benji the Bobcat channel. This is a clip of the 15 ball run that I had uh, this weekend. And uh, I just, I took it out of the video that I put up earlier, just so it could have its own video by itself. I was really proud of this clip, so I felt it deserved its own, its own video. So I'll commentate over it again, and... Uh, tell you what I did in this game. So it, this is Ghost Man 15 ball rotation, whatever you want to call it. Just like 9 ball, you break them, then you take ball in hand. Uh, 9 ball Ghost Man, sorry. You take ball in hand and then you try and run them out in order. And uh, that's exactly what I did. And to just get this one game of a run out, it took me two and a half days. I think about 14 hours of playing just to get one run so you can see why I'm so happy with it uh, it's a super hard thing to do uh, maybe some of you will have an easier time at it but I most games I was done right from the beginning because either the one was completely blocked or the two was completely blocked couldn't get on it so you just re-rack and re-break again um, so I just kind of got lucky this game. I have some good shots, and I had uh, had a couple uh, kind of luckier luckier shots, I guess. But um, really happy with this game. So here I use low left to come back for the five off the top rail, and this is where my first problem occurred. Trying to get back for the six in the same pocket because that's the only pocket that six will go in. Um, don't have enough angle to go around the table to get below the six so the only thing I could do was draw it back and I was just hoping to get be in between the six and the eight and somehow I did which you'll see in a second here so I was really happy with that shot I, I thought the game was over I didn't think I was gonna get on this one um, not too bad a position on the six, and I can just kind of stun it over to the rail with center English and stop it for the seven into the right side. And you're going to see I get a little bit of an angle on the seven, at the wrong angle, and I'll have to adjust then this shot on the seven to get on the eight because the only pocket the eight really goes in um, is the top left. It could go in the side, but um, it, it was a tight cut with that nine ball being right there. So I take the cue ball up to the top rail, and I use bottom left English, or kind of middle uh, left English. You'll see, because that cue ball is going to travel up to that top rail. When it hits, it kind of comes back to the left which is exactly what I needed it to do. And I just barely got onto this eight ball for the top corner. Uh, but, you know, that was a good shot. Uh, the next shot, I'm just going to draw it back a little bit for the nine in the bottom right corner here. I'm using low left. A little bit of low left. And uh, had a little bit more of an angle on this than I wanted, um, which is fine. Still, I just had to adjust. Uh, during a run, you're always going to have to adjust your shots. And uh, this one, I'll just uh, draw it down back towards the 14. I wanted to come past the 14, but unfortunately, I drew it right in front of the 14. So now I'm going to be hampered and have to hit over the 14 for the 11 in the side. Uh, but I take the 11 in the side here. I'm just going to use top English. I can't really get any closer to the 12 because I didn't draw this cue ball back far enough to, for it to be able to travel up the table. So I'll just uh, run it towards the rail and off a little bit for a longer shot on the 12.
And with this one, I'll just use, uh, I believe, some top left. This was pretty straight in also, so I cheated the pocket a little bit, which was even tougher because it's such a long shot. Top left come off of the top rail. Uh, I think actually maybe I just used top spin on that one. I think if I would have used top left, it would have hit that left rail also. Uh, this one, um, fairly straightforward combo. And I could see right here that 13 when I hit it, when it hit the 14, it, it was naturally going to travel towards the bottom right pocket. So I was pretty comfortable that I'd have a shot on the 13 just like that but I was expecting or I was hoping that the 13 would have bounced off the rail more than it did so I left myself a lot more of an angle than I wanted and I was worried I knew that I couldn't stop the cue ball before the 15 so I was trying to go past the 15 so I could shoot the 15 in this bottom right corner where I'm gonna put the 13 but it just didn't work out. I put too much left. And you can see I put too much left. That's why it went over to the rail there behind the 15. I just happened to get lucky and it knocked the 15 out so I could make it in the side here. So yeah, a couple lucky shots. Um, but overall, I'm super happy with this game. And uh, you guys really need to try this 15 ball run out. Let me know how you do. Alright, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.